Oof, not a very handsome fellow, is he? We don't have all day here, Reese. Hey, you know, Grease Face. You know, the guy with the uh, weird meat thing. You know where the world of curiosities is? Because my buddy and I, we gotta be there, like, you know, right now. Say that again. Reese, what are you doing? Yeah, Reese. What are you doing? Repeat what you said. Just so there's no misunderstanding. What? You got a greasy face. Look, get some lotion, get some gel, do a wrap or something. I mean, if you want to lash out, you know, blame your jeans, it's not your fault. Oh, look, fella, uh, my friend is really, really sorry. He's got some kind of a condition where he says really stupid crap just to see what'll happen. <laughs> You're Hyperion. You wake suckers ruin this town, you know that? Atlas were bastards, but at least they had the good sense to fail. When Jack came in, he turned everything to smoke. Oh my god, who called in the wambulance, huh? Look, if you don't know where the world of curiosities is, stop wasting our time and just tell us. So we can move on to the next hole of garbage that you people call a suburb and see if their morons know any better. You know, I thought today was gonna be boring. Hey, little man. What's in the case? Hey, kitty cat, show us what's in the case. <laughs> okay, now, look, before we get all bent... <laughs> oh. Is there, like, a convention or something? Oh. <laughs> Bandits. You know what we got here? Reese, do the... We got a couple Hyperion warmongers, gentlemen. The bot! Yvette, prime it! <sighs> Already? Really? Just... <laughs> give, give me the menu. Okay, but don't go bananas. These things ain't cheap. And do you know what we do with warmongers? Do you know what we do? Should we tell them what we do with Hyperion workers? Who is that? Reese, come on, just get it. Okay, maybe I didn't, you know, technically die, but I could have. <laughs> okay, now, look, before we get all bent... <laughs> oh. Is there, like, a convention or something? Oh. <laughs> Bandits. You know what we got here? Reese. Do the... We got a couple Hyperion warmongers, gentlemen. The bot! Yvette, prime it! <sighs> Already? Really? Just... <laughs> give, give me the menu. Okay, but don't go bananas. These things ain't cheap. And do you know what we do with warmongers? Do you know what we do? Should we tell them what we do with Hyperion workers? Who is that? Reese, come on, just get it. Motor bot deployed. Time to clock in. Listen, boys. You're gonna hand over that case. Or you're handing over your heads. Your choice. Look, guys, let's talk about this.
got quiet all of a sudden. so much. Kindly stand still and die. That 
That's all I wanted to know. We could have avoided all of this. Ow! Get your ass gone! Okay, okay, okay. Loader bot, put the car down. Sure thing. Bandits. Subsystem requires your attention. All right, we'll have to improvise. Time to get funky. Just tell it to run! I will name my firstborn Loaderbot. Oh. You know, pr probably not. But. I... I can't believe we're alive. I mean, I, I never want to see somebody's brains come out of their nose. Not ever again. That... That was the single scariest experience of, of my entire life. Which should probably be over by now. But it's not. For some reason. But for those guys... A lot of those guys... Oh, come on. It was a little fun, right? You cannot honestly stand there and tell me that it didn't feel kind of great to kick all those guys' asses. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was a little... awesome. But I'm sure it was as traumatic as it was fun. We're probably gonna need some therapy in the future, you know that, right? We'll be able to afford it. All right, let's just find this guy, August. Buy the key. Get the hell out of here.
Ugh, does every animal on this planet have to look like a giant monster? You know, the stuffed animals was one thing, but this is taking a turn I really don't want it to. Right this way to the world-famous Hall of Pandoran Luminaries. Come face to face with icons of the planet's turbulent history and hear how each met their grisly fate. Please watch your step and marvel at some of the unexpected ends of life's grand design. There's nowhere else to go. Come on, let's just get through it. Uh... Boom, not to be confused with his brother Boom, was the first mate of Captain Flint. As his name subtly implies, Boom enjoyed hurling caustic explosives and making things blow up by any means necessary. Who around here doesn't? Pandoran resident and fine dining connoisseur, Shade, was held in high esteem by his fellow neighbors in Oasis. Not in the least bit insane, he will be missed. I am really not into this at all. Oh, I remember this guy, he was an asshole. Formerly a scientific researcher who worked for Hyperion, Professor Nakayama was obsessed with cloning Handsome Jack, who he carried a certain fondness for. Killed by stairs! No witty rejoinder? You must be more traumatized than I am. Hey, you still got his Hyperion ID chip. Really? Keep it. Hyperion pays out a nice bonus for recovering those things. Oops.
once ruthless leader of the Crimson Lance, Commandant Steel. Her leaderness came to an end when she was skewered by a monstrous tentacle. She later died a second time after having been resurrected as some kind of cyborg zombie thing. Can we just get on with this? Are you serious? Well, this feels like we came in the back, so maybe there's a front door somewhere? Yeah, I don't know if we can get out there with the murderers all over the place. Maybe one of those bodies has a key or something and we just missed it. Wow, I mean, if we just randomly found the key, I mean, that would be amazing. Are you two not just the handsomest devils I've seen in ages? <laughs> uh, asshole! Moi? Yes, you! Asshole! What do you think you're doing? What? 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 What is this? Is this part of the, like, some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show, so Thanks. I... Thanks! I'm Shade, and this is my world of curiosities. Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> <clears throat> but unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. But that doesn't mean you have to leave, of course, no. I mean, we can do other things. You're already here. <laughs> we we can just hang out. Listen, we're going to make a deal, all right? We're buying a thing. Something valuable. You know anything about that? I know a lot of things about a lot of things, and this thing in particular. <laughs> You're Hyperion, right? Here for August. Yeah, if you want to buy something strange and illegal, <laughs> this is certainly the place to do it. My grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know, a real lover of animals. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself... What happened? You get stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting ten million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. I assume you'd have that kind of scratches walk-around money. Oh, well, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard the explosions outside, but, you know, we had to mow down about a couple hundred bandits just so we could ring the goddamn doorbell. Just in time for the spring collection. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a friggin' bug stampede, some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. Is, uh, is Vasquez coming? Hugo couldn't make it. He's sick. Yeah, he ate some bad stuff, or something. I don't know. <laughs> He's been camped out in the executive washroom since lunchtime. He's got trains leaving both ends of the station, if you know what I mean. Ugh, okay, I got the picture. Well done. So, what's your name? Just so we're on, uh... Equal footing. You have one, right? It's Reese. Reese? Reese. Isn't that what I said? Sure. 
Just sit down and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. Okay, so, let's see the money. Cash only for this deal. And I hope you brought big bills. The kind that are hard to break. Uh-uh, no. I know how this works. We see the merchandise first, then you see the money. Yeah. <sighs> all right, all right. The baby wants its bottle. Fine. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance at your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. I'd use it myself, but, you know, the monsters and all. It's goddamn gorgeous. Freaking A right it is. Okay, so, the way I uh, usually do these things is... Wait! What? I... I just don't like it. I got a... I got a feeling. What feeling? Look, you said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away, right? What are you possibly feeling right now? We're almost done. I get intuitions about this stuff. We're good here. Everyone relax. We just want to buy the key from August and go. Yeah, he just wants to buy a key. From me. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? And why, why wouldn't they show you the money, huh? What's up with that? Sasha? They've been all, oh, yes, sir, and oh, no, sir, and oh, I have the money we agreed upon right here. Nothing you're saying is bad. Nobody does that. And especially Hyperion ore monkeys who'd rather bomb a small village than talk things through. I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. What's wrong with his face? You can't trust a face like that. He's hiding something, August. Hey, Sasha. Sasha, listen to me. I, I know you don't trust Hyperion. Yeah, you think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, you're not like those assholes. In, in fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. All right, I'm sold. Awesome, let's do this. Well, just wait, just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. If you really think... No, no, it's okay. The feeling's gone, August. Let's do the deal. I don't know. Maybe today's not right for this. If, if, if things are weird, if you ha have a feeling about things... No, 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 I was wrong. We should definitely do it. Uh, the bad feeling is gone, August. She said so herself. We still got a deal here. There's no problem, let's just... No, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I was... I thought I was gonna deal with Vasquez, and now this, I just... I just think we should call it off until I, I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really. No, I made up my mind. August, wait! Priest, this is your department. Do something! Can't let you leave with that, pal. Oh, no? And what are you gonna do about it? Yeah, that's what I thought- <laughs> Looks like he had a change of heart. What a steaming load of skag crap. Well, well. <laughs> Look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! 
Oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass. It is a nice haircut. Oh, shut up. Stop it, stop it. You're getting dirt in my eye. It sucks because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> and I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. And how the hell would you know anyway? You weren't at the deal. Of course I was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I... Your turn, Fiona. My turn for what? Tell me your side of the deal. <laughs> you couldn't have asked me first? You kidnapped me hours ago. I guess I could have. You guess? I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive-bombing me for the last... Okay, I get it. This fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. Which is? Oh, this ought to be good. No, oh, go on. I can't wait. The Vault Hunter showed up. It's mine! Give it! Stop! What's your freaking problem, man? Wait, 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 wait. How is that the most important thing? Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Oh, come on, that was not my fault. Not all of it. Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking if... Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. I was born here, on Pandora, in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. There. Well, looks good. If Augustus's offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Hyperion stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a Vault Key, real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it. So have them keep their hands to themselves. Keep them from touching it? How do you expect me to do that? I don't know. But you'll think of something. You always do. Hey, you're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. I'll back you up if needed. Well, I have the shiniest meat bicycle. Exactly. Showtime. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The Purple Skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. So you want me to shoot my way out? Might need a bigger gun. It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. 
You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. Emergency only. I got it. <laughs> 